All right, so I just picked up the Lutron motion sensor and this is what it looks like. Lights just came off. And basically this Lutron motion sensor is compatible with a single pole and a three-way configuration. So, but on the instructions, there's a note here that says you cannot use this in two locations. It can only be done in one location. So right where it says important notices, line number four, it says only one Sensen location. So basically I'm gonna walk you through how to wire it so that lights come on on both sides. Currently right now, there's one switch here and sensor and if we walk over to this other side also have a switch here so let's get to it all right so step number one is to identify the power wire so where the power first comes in so for me this is the box where the power comes in and basically i tag the wire that's the constant power coming in but it was also the wire that was connected to the black screw so in the instructions if we look over here it says to take the wire and mark it so the wire that is coming from the original switch with the black screw is where you're going to tag it right so that wire is tagged and it's also the feed coming into the box. And basically you're gonna take the feed, which is your 14.2 cable and the black wire from your 14.3 wire that's going to the other switch on the other side. You're gonna combine those two wires together and then attach your black wire and attach the top black wire to that. And then you're going to attach your other black wire underneath here, closest to the blue one, to the red wire. And then you're going to connect your, your neutral. And the blue wire is not going to be used. We're going to cap it off. And then you have your ground. And that's this box. Now the other box. Now on this box, what we're going to do is... Essentially, you're going to take your top black wire, and if we trace it back here, you're going to see that this black wire is coming from the 14.3 wire. So this wire right here that's going to connect it by itself is coming from the other switch box, right? And then you're going to take your, your remaining black wire connect it to the red wire and connect it to the black wire underneath here. So closest to the blue. And then same thing, cap off the blue, connect your neutral and connect your, your ground neutral, cap off the blue. And that's pretty much it. And then you just through, go through your programming procedure, you know, set it to a minute, whatever you want. Um, set it to sensing to vacancy um i believe that's what it's called i can double check so if you go to here to your settings basically i have it set to one minute and then occupancy mode so not vacancy so occupancy mode and one minute and that's it hope that helps good luck all right so as you can see the lights are off i'm gonna test this sensor here as we walk in boom lights turn on all right now the lights are off again as you can see both sides are off I'm gonna walk in here and boom lights turn on success